Do you feel it's difficult to find methods to save money no matter how hard you try? You strive to spend less, but something always comes up. Life gets in the way. The AC needs maintenance. The adolescent needs braces. The house needs a new roof. And conserving money quickly falls to the wayside. Does this ring a bell? Honestly, you don't have to wait for things to fall into place before you start saving money. Spoiler alert, it will never arrive if you wait for the right time to arrive. Now is the ideal time to begin saving. Good for you, there are plenty of simple strategies to save money and put new vigor and money into your budget. Here are some money-saving suggestions to help you fine-tune your expenditures and get started saving money right away. Number 10. Finish off your debts. For money saving, monthly debt payments are the biggest suckers of money. Debt deprives you of your earnings. So it's time for you to pay off that student or home loan with the debt snowball strategy. It is the quickest way to pay off debt. Basically, you pay off your bills starting with the lowest and working your way up to the greatest. Isn't that a little tense? Don't worry. The focus is on behavior modification rather than numbers. You may use your extra income to finally progress toward your saving goals after your income has been freed up. Number 9. Grocery Shopping Overload After creating a budget, most individuals are surprised to learn how much they spend at the grocery shop each month. And if you're a family of four in the United States, you're probably spending roughly $928.10 per year. Yikes! It's so simple to stroll through those aisles, pick up a bag of candies here and a few crisps there, then top it off with the mouth-watering treats at the cashier. However, those small purchases known as budget busters add up quickly and blow the budget every month. Plan your weekly meals and take a good look at what you already have in your kitchen supplies before going to the market to save money on groceries. Try ordering monthly groceries online and getting them delivered to save money and time. It's available at most big supermarkets these days, often complimentary, and can save you money. Picking up your groceries eliminates the temptation you may have had if you smelled those fresh choco chip cakes wafting around the store. In other words, you're compelled to stick to your shopping list and prevent overspending. Number 8. Additional and Unexpected Income Did you obtain a nice work bonus? Yay! Receive an inheritance or a tax refund? Make good use of them all. And by good use, we don't mean purchasing that rare new token for your coin collection or simply stashing it in the bank. If you're still in debt, you'd be better off utilizing those earnings to pay off your loans or credit card amount than putting them in a savings account. If you're debt-free, put those additional funds towards your emergency fund, which you'll need in an emergency. If you consistently receive significant tax refunds, it's time to alter your withholding on your paycheck so you may take home even more money each month. Number 7. Extra Memberships and Subscriptions You're probably paying for Netflix, Spotify, Hulu, gym memberships, trendy subscription boxes, and Amazon Prime, among other things. Any subscriptions you don't utilize regularly should be canceled. When you make a purchase, switch off Auto Renew. If you cancel it and feel you can't live without it, consider resubscribing, but only if it fits into your new, tighter budget. Consider splitting memberships with specific family or friends for those you wish to keep. Many streaming platforms, namely Netflix and Hulu, let you view your favorite shows on two or more screens simultaneously with an upgraded account. That way, everyone benefits and everyone saves. Number 6. Don't fall prey to online marketing Email marketers are the masters of their craft. They understand the allure of a 24-hour sale or an exclusive code. And how about those flashy gifts? If you can't stop yourself from buying something when you see a great deal, click the unsubscribe link at the bottom of the email. But what you should subscribe to is this channel, because it's free and supportive. Make it happen. Also, you'll be less inclined to purchase and your inbox will be far less packed. It's a win-win situation. Number 5. Cut your energy costs. You can now save money on your power bill by making a few changes to your home. Start with fundamental changes like taking shorter showers, not fewer though, <laughs> repairing pipes, washing your clothes in tap water, and installing dimmer switches and LED light bulbs. New, energy-efficient appliances are a terrific way to save money on your electric bill, but they are also costly. That's where your savings enter. If you include it in your monthly budget, you'll be able to pay for these changes in cash over time. Number 4. Benefit from the DIY fashion. 
Consider doing it yourself before spending the money on a new backsplash, expensive light fixture, or desk. The cost of materials and a quick Google or YouTube search would save you money on your most recent home improvement. In addition, you won't have to pay someone to perform something that you can probably do yourself unless you're the sort that can't manage to pop in a nail. Then you might want to get some help from a friend or neighbor so you don't have to spend money on new plasterboard. Instead of going out and buying something, borrow it from a friend or neighbor when you need to perform some do-it-yourself work. Number 3. Skipping Non-Essentials Cell Phone Bills We aren't insinuating that you shouldn't pay them, but if your monthly cell phone bill exceeds your monthly grocery budget, it's time to look for ways to save money. Get rid of extras like expensive data plans, unnecessary phone insurance, and warranties to save money on your cell phone service. Also, don't be scared to haggle with your provider or switch totally. It may take some perseverance and investigation, but the savings are well worth it. Coffee Shops Ouch. We know how painful this one is. However, instead of spending $5 on a daily cappuccino, you can save money by preparing coffee at home. Listen, we're not suggesting that you only drink instant coffee, unless you like it. However, buying a bag of local beans from your local coffee shop and preparing it at home will not hurt your cash over time. Libraries before you click Add to Basket on that brand new book, verify if you can borrow it from your local library. Audiobooks and digital copies of your favorite novels are available at most libraries. It's effortless to get your reading done without burning a hole in your pocket. Bonus tip, look for significant savings on like new or even well-loved books on sites like Alibris and Thrip Books for hardly anything. Selling Things Declutter the items in your home that you no longer require and are prepared to part with. It's for the benefit of your financial security. Remember the chair in the attic that your aunt gave you? Time to sell it. That cute vase from an antique shop? It should be sold. You'd be shocked at how much junk you don't even use or think about is in your home. And the money you can generate from them could make the difference between living month to month or not. The Classic Rule of Shopping Allowing yourself a cooling off period between the moment an item grabs your attention and the time you make the buy is one approach to prevent overspending. If you're shopping online, put the item in your virtual cart and then walk away until you've had a chance to think about it. When a store recognizes that you have abandoned your cart, you may be sent a discount code. If 30 days seems excessive, try shorter periods such as a 24 or 48 hour delay. Number 2. The 50-30-20 Budget Following a budget which entails setting spending priorities is a sensible approach to managing your money and ideally keeping more of it. For money management, we recommend the 50-30-20 budget. This strategy requires allocating 50% of your after-tax income to essentials, 30% to wants, and 20% to savings and debt repayments. You can make adjustments elsewhere if one of your allocations surpasses these percentages. Number 1. The Ultimate Hack You'll only start saving money if you inculcate good money habits. Start prioritizing your future requirements over your current desires. So, go for it. With a simple secret, you can free yourself from living paycheck to paycheck. Make a zero-based budget before the month begins. It's all about being methodical when it comes to budgeting. When creating a zero-based budget, you give each dollar a name or a task to complete before you save it or spend it. It assists you in making a budget where you can see where your money goes and how much you may save per month. Remember, it makes no difference how much money you earn. What counts is how you spend and conserve your earnings. There are also other ways to better regulate your hard-earned bucks, like a free credit report check, paying bills in auto pay, and like that. Let us know some more saving tips in the comment section. Make sure you like the video and share it with others. Remember, saving money helps make you feel more secure and in charge of your finances, especially as you get older. There are only advantages to learning efficient and easy ways to save money, from being able to invest in your future to detecting the spending patterns that eat away at your money every month.